Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, where we will be solving an interesting nonic polynomial equation x power 9 minus 1 plus x cube times x cube minus 1 equal to 0. This is degree 9 polynomial, so we will find out 9 roots or 9 solutions. I will begin this video by writing three algebraic identities. Identity number 1 the difference of a square identity a square minus b square we know that in one parenthesis we will have a plus b in second we can write a minus b now second algebraic identity i will use that is a cube plus b cube so that expansion we also know that is a plus b in second bracket a square minus ab plus b square and third identity which will be used here in this solution that is a cube minus b cube we know the expansion that is a square plus a b plus b square so let's get started now with our problem so i will expand first so i will write x power 9 minus 1 plus x power 6 minus x cube equal to 0. Now let's write in the descending power form x power 9 plus x power 6 minus x cube minus 1 equal to 0. So from first two term I will take x power 6 common out. So I will left with x cube plus 1. From last two terms, we can take negative 1 common out. Then we'll have the same bracket term x cube plus 1 equal to 0. Now, it is obvious x cube plus 1, I will take common out. So, it would be left with x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. Now, our degree 9 polynomial is converted into the product form of or factorization form of degree 3 and degree 6 hexic and cubic so let's solve so if product f dot g equal to 0 then we used to conclude f equal to 0 or g equal to 0 same way i will write here x cube plus 1 equal to 0 3 roots from this equation and x cube minus x6 minus 1 equal to 0. 6 solutions from this equation. So let's solve one by one. x cube plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will use that identity a cube plus b cube. So I will write a plus b in one parenthesis and in second one I will write x square minus x plus 1 a square plus b square minus ab again f dot g product that means either x plus 1 equal to 0 or x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0 so from first equation we can conclude x is equal to negative 1 and from this quadratic equation we will apply quadratic formula Let's apply. So I will write x is equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus square root of b square. So minus 1 square is 1 minus 4ac. So negative 4 over 2a 2. So from here we can conclude 1 plus minus. This will become negative 3 inside the square root so there will be 1 plus minus i can write this one as i times root 3 over 2 so two complex solution and one real solution which is minus 1 from the very first equation all right now we will take up the second equation which was x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0 let me write here So let us make x cube whole square 
6 can be written as 3 times 2. So we can think about it is in this manner. Now identity number 1 a square minus b square difference of a square formula. So I will write a square minus b square a plus b a minus b. So a is x cube plus 1 x cube minus 1 equal to 0. From this equation, we will get six solutions. Okay. Again, a cube plus b cube. I will write this one as a plus b, a square minus ab plus b square. Similar formula, that is formula number three, algebraic identity, the difference of cubes. x minus one, x square plus x plus one. So from x plus 1 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0, we will get plus 1 and minus 1 solution. So let us write x plus 1 equal to 0. Then we will get x is equal to negative 1. And when x minus 1 equal to 0, we will write, then we will collect x equal to 1. Done. Now two quadratic equations. So let's solve it. So I will write x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. So x will be equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let me write directly x is equal to 1 plus minus i root 3 divided by 2. Okay. Now second equation, second quadratic equation, x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Again same thing we will get minus 1 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac. So negative 3 over 2a. So let me write here the solution minus 1 plus minus i times root 3 divided by 2. So we are having 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6 complex solutions and minus 1, minus 1 plus 1, 3 real solutions. So out of 9 solutions, there is multiplicity for root x is equal to minus 1 and 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2, multiplicity 2. Okay. So let me write our answer x is equal to minus 1 plus 1 and then I will write 1 plus i root 3 over 2 and 1 minus i root 3 over 2. Okay. All right. Let's write now multiplicity. So I will write which roots or solution having repetitive in nature. So this is two times and these two complex root are repetitive. Okay. Multiplicity two. And the remaining three are single time. So there are total nine roots. All right. Let's verify two real values. Okay. Let me write here x is equal to one first. Okay, so I will put x is equal to here in this equation. I will write 1 power 9 minus 1 plus 1 power 3, 1 power 3 minus 1. We have to check whether it is 0 or not. So 1 minus 1 plus 1 times 0. So 0 plus 0, 0, verify, minus 1. Okay, let's put the value minus 1. So minus 1 power 9 minus 1 minus 1 plus minus 1 power 3 so minus 1 minus 1 cube minus 1 minus 1 so minus 2 so it will become minus 2 plus 2 so that is 0 that means RHS so this is also tested verified all right this is how we will solve this problem bye bye for now up till next video good luck do not forget to like, share and subscribe.